Hi there, this is Beth, and we are talking about the Singer Connection from Froud's Fairies Oracle. And the Singer of Connection is the connector. For luck, connector. I'm trying to think of a better word in English, and I cannot think of one. It's, it's the web of light that's connecting everything in the universe. You, me, the chair computer, everything. This connects it all. And this connection is strengthened through such as compassion, love, trust, truth. It is these emotions that bring us into that connection, trusting this singer of connection enough to hold us in its hand, really. Instead of shutting it down with fear, anger, jealousy, envy, you know, which are all very human emotions. There's nothing wrong with them. And there are times you are going to feel those so-called negative emotions. But it's when you start living your life out of those negative emotions that you start to distance yourself from this card, that you pull away from that web of light and kind of become a hangy down piece of it if you were because I don't know if you can truly separate yourself out of the web of the universe you can be discordant you you can clash with it and butt heads with it if you are living from a life from anger and fear hatred that kind of stuff I could see how that would shut it down so it's very hard for it to trickle into you. You know, it makes me... There's a book by Ann Bishop called... Is it Belladonna? Is it the first one? No, it's not in the first... Yeah, it's Belladonna. It's the second book in a... I guess a trilogy at this point. Um, but in this book, this woman, Belladonna, traps what they call the eater of the worlds. And it's kind of that nasty hatred, meanness, brings out the pettiness in people, and she traps it. And she becomes what that creature that fears, because even that creature feeds on the hope. And she becomes something so desolate that even the eater of the world fears her, something that relishes in feeling people being scared and terrified. And she takes so much hope that the hope of that you could survive the situation that the eater of the world has put you in. Belladonna takes that hope out, rips it out, tosses out of this area of the world that she's in. And that's kind of what would shut the connect the singer connection down. It's that kind of thing, kind of trying to rip that the good stuff out of you. And even within this book, she doesn't manage to do it for a whole time, forever. The the trick of light gets sent back into her by other people. It's a really good book. Sebastian's the first book of that series. If you're interested in it, Sebastian, Belladonna, and oh, Bridge of Dreams, something like that. A good, good series. I love Anne Bishop, though. She did the Dark Jewels. So, book recommendation in the middle of the singer in connection. And, but what really brings this singer into your life is joy, hope, faith, trust, love, heart-centeredness. Those are all things that draw us even more into this web of light, into the web of the singer connection and becoming more connected. You know, it's a dropping of defenses. And I believe it's Froud. I think it's Froud, or maybe it was the woman writing the book. It doesn't really specify who. But one of them were, was asked to, by this singer, to drop all defenses. And they're like, but I need those defenses. They protect me. And within that realization that the defenses really were not protecting them, they were distancing. 
them instead of actually doing what they thought they were doing with those defenses. And the singular connection is being that trusting that you drop your defenses, that you try to set your defense mechanisms away on the side and trust that much. Which for humans is pretty scary. You know, we create all these mechanisms to protect ourselves, or at least what we think we need protecting from. And sometimes, you know, they they end up in very different matters in the end. What we once use to help us often becomes a hindrance, becomes a chain. And this singular connection is helping us to drop those chains and become connected to the universe. And when you see this card come up, it, it's often calling for you to connect more or to reconnect if you've been disconnecting. You know, and we can, be, not being present too, I think really plays into the singular connection, not tapping into it. If you're not in the now, if you're living anywhere but in what's happening at this minute, it's very hard to be connected. Because you're somewhere else, you're living somewhere in your head, another time frame. And the singer connection is a very card of presence, I think, too. It's one thing it can call us to remember, is that presence is really important in our lives. Because without it, yeah, you're just going through the motions. And... Do you just want to go through your emotions in your life? Or do you want to bring in that juiciness that the singer can bring to your life? Of that feeling connected, of feeling good and heart-centered. And moving from compassion and love, not fear and anger. And in many ways, that is such a choice. And I know I often make that choice every day. Sometimes, many times a day. Am I going to be heart-centered or am I going to be angry? And you know, some. I'm human, and believe me, it's, as I'm filming this, it's the day after the super moon eclipse thing, and I've had silly, silly, horrible hangover energy, you know, and I don't feel like being nice to people, and I had to be at my bridge job today. Yet, you know, it's like at the same time, I acknowledge that I feel like I tied one on last night, and I didn't. I felt drained and tired all day long, very low energy, and I acknowledge that, and it's fine. And I choose to move from this kind of crappy, shitty feeling I've had all day long to move in the move from the aspect of compassion for myself. That I probably need a little extra water today, and that I'm gonna go to bed early. And just kind of take it easy once I get home and I can. So, you know, you just, you know, compassion extends to you. So don't forget that the singer connection also connects you to you. And there are times, too, like when you see the singer come up and it's a call to get grounded, really get earth, get centered, be more in the now. You know, it's and it's those that getting grounded, getting earthed, grounding and centering can really help bring this card back into focus for you. Because once you drop everything else, there's just you and the connection. And that's really what you're striving for, is to feel that connection all the time, to kind of just be able to, you know, feel it pulsing there in the world and now you're part of that and that you are connected to everything and that this card which I haven't shown you usually I'm like showing you the whole time I just thought of that I haven't shown you the singer yet the singer is connecting you to everything the singer connection you know it's you know grounding and centering brings you into the present and brings in presence and that's what this card is about is knowing that it's there, that you can drop your defenses, you can be vulnerable and supported at the same time, that you can move from compassion and love. Use your heart. 
and that often those emotions that we fear, if we move from them and let them control our lives, yes, it will start to cut us off from this. But you always have the choice to stop that and to start moving from love, compassion, kindness. So become connected, be present, be in the now, and feel that web of light that the Singer Connection brings to you. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day, and I'll be talking to you later. Bye-bye.